now it's not proper like what do men think because i didn't want to come off looking irresponsible it's gonna scare men away as an adult and if you can afford it why would you not want to live alone if you're a lady why hello guys how are you all doing if this is your first time seeing this face my name is glory Ifoma. you're welcome to my channel please don't make it your last click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post new videos okay today i'm going to be talking about my mentality shift between when i was in cameroon and now that i am in nigeria for those of you who don't know me, I lived, grew up and schooled in Cameroon before moving to Nigeria some few years back, okay? And it's been by God's grace, gracious. Okay, so between then and now, I've had a really different perspective on some certain things which I really like to share. Feel free to also share if you've lived somewhere before, before moving to a new environment, how you now see things if there are differences in your mentality and how you tend to see interpret and understand things feel free to share okay it's gonna be welcomed so without further ado my first mental before i go into the video as you can see i'm all laid back because it's just going to be a chit chatty video nothing too serious nothing as serious okay it's just all laid back laid back that's what we're about here okay so my first mentality shift is about a single lady living alone. Then when I was in Cameroon, due to my environment, I felt like it gave a kind of vibey feel like it wasn't right, it wasn't proper, like it's sort of irresponsible for a single lady. It's going to scare men away. Jesus is Lord! So I sort of picked that up. I felt that way at some point, like... Even if I had the mind to want to live alone, then it was a little difficult because I didn't want to come off looking irresponsible or not homely. You know, I didn't want to rob more than my family's name. But come to think about it now, that's very funny because as an adult and if you can afford it, why would you not want to live alone if you're a lady? Why? Hmm? Even when I came to Nigeria, like that mentality still prevailed among those around me, especially when I said like I wanted to live alone, you know, I had a little, it came from a place of care anyways, a little resistance, like, no, it's not proper, like, what do men think? It, it didn't come out that way exactly, but that was what they were trying to imply, like, you're gonna scare men away, really? It means they are not for me, okay? I'm not gonna be with any man that is insecure. Jesus is that is not mentally up there in terms of those kind of things, you know? That's not exposed. Because that's a sign of not being exposed. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not gonna do that. So, anyways, I feel totally different from that. I feel like if you can afford it, in fact, it is good as an adult for you to live alone. It gives a greater sense of responsibility. You grow up fast. You get matured fast. You live up to responsibility. That is when you tell yourself, okay, like, <laughs> if I don't sit up and sit right, the world is going to swallow me. For Take, for example, you get your rent is getting expired and perhaps you don't have money. You just have to double your hustle. But if you're living with family or living with people, like, you, you wouldn't feel it. You won't really have that extra push. So it's not a matter of a lady or a male. I feel like if you're an adult and you can afford it, go for it. Except you can afford it, then you can think about family. Okay? My next mentality shift is about marriage as a lady. Now, then when I was in Cameroon, I was still in school, in university. And the kind of vibe that prevailed then is like as a single lady in school, almost rounding up from school, it's good to just keep your man by your side. So that when you're graduating, you're moving into your man's house. Perhaps you just propose. In fact, especially in the Igbo culture, you find most men engaging their girlfriends when they are the final year. So that once they are done with school, into their houses. I've even had some of my elder ones like, oh, even, you know, introduce some people to me anyways. <laughs> Which was fine, and but 
like the purpose for that was what is not really clear to me when I come to think about it. I feel like getting into marriage goes beyond say you've got into that stage. There is more to that. Now I'll feel like I would have made a very wrong decision if I had gotten married then. Say I graduated from school, then I'm just moving into a man's house. Very wrong decision. Because I didn't really know myself and I was trying to discover myself. And just imagine if now I'm into content creation, then then I wasn't really doing a lot in terms of proper content creation. Then I'm now in a man's house and I wake up one day take my camera and say darling i want to start vlogging and god helps me it's someone that does not really care about all of these things what am i going to do I to meet so i feel like marriage as a single lady goes beyond pressure goes beyond you know feeling like the time is right goes beyond the feel of my friends are doing it or everyone is doing it so why don't i do it no it has to get to that point where you understand yourself you know who you are the lady you are you know what you want to become so any man that comes into your life you know compliment that you too you're also going to compliment you understand yourself well enough to know the kind of man that will come into your life for which you will suit his purpose and he's gonna suit yours you two are basically complimenting each other you're supporting each other so it's not going to be a relationship that's just going to be one-sided where the man is just the one giving 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 it's going to be a relationship where you guys are basically putting your head together to you know forge ahead to build a strong future together so yeah my thought about that has changed a lot enough of that my next mentality shift is about domestication i had a very wrong mentality i would say outrightly it's a very wrong mentality because today tomorrow if you get to ask me i will tell you that in terms of domestication it's not a responsibility for the woman alone men and women as children in fact as children should be taught on how to be domestically inclined that is if there is need for domestication okay if you believe so much in domestication train your girl child train your boy child there is no need training the girl alone We've gone past the era where women are just main meant for the kitchen. And then when I was in Cameroon, I felt like as a woman, even if you are you've gotten to the height of your career or whatever it is, at the end of the day you need to return back to the kitchen. I've had people like force me, force me, force me, all those kind of things like but now my thought about that has changed a lot. And that was a product of my environment. Most of these things are just products of my environment. Now, like, I had those thoughts in mind, like, this is not right. But I wasn't really vocal because my environment shows that that is what was prevailing and I had to live by it. But now when I came to an another environment where I've seen diversification, I've been exposed to so many different people, so many different cultures, so many different things, I'm more vocal about it. If you're a woman, you can afford help, you can afford assistance at home, you can pay for that, go for it, go for it, go for it. There is no price for self ahead. There is no reward for self ahead, except you can't afford it. But do not get me wrong, I'm not against being domestically inclined. I'm domestically inclined myself, but I'm saying that it's not really a do or die affair if you can afford it. If you can pay for a domestic staff, it's not a do or die affair. Enough of the worry about, oh, what a man, what a... The man that will like you will like you. The man that like you can't really please everyone. Okay, you just need to have it at the back of your mind that obviously not every man. Some men will want their woman to cook for them two for seven. Some men will want their woman to woman get to the height of your career. I want you to be given a speech up there and I'm proud to say that is my woman. There are some men that are like that. So I feel like... Um, I got over that pressure of saying a woman, you have to be too domestically inclined because your place is in the kitchen. No, it's way above that now as it stands, as it stands, it's way above that. 
that's just good like i said to be domestically inclined for both a woman and a man okay it's not just the role of a woman alone like you need it if you're a man you're a bachelor you will need to cook for yourself once in a while so what's up what's up anyways my next mentality shift is my definition of success my definition of success has changed a lot and then my definition of success was a product of my environment you know how i did see people I'll be like oh this person is successful oh that person is successful ah, blah, blah, blah. come to think about it and i'm like eh, really now okay hmm. you're trying you're doing well but okay so to me my perspective has changed i'm more open-minded i'm more broad minded the way i have classified things you know what i've said for myself is beyond what i said for myself when i was there my next mentality shift is about being vocal then i was not too vocal because i didn't want to be judged and all of that and i didn't want to be seen as a too independent woman because again of the sake of relationship and all of that but right now i don't really care like I got to speak my mind when I got to speak it. When I feel like my voice needs to be heard, I speak up. I speak out. I speak it. I speak it. And I stand corrected if I make a mistake. But to say, do not say things when they are needed to be said. No, I don't do that. You just have to, you just have to, you just have to respect that. So that is it, guys. Um, a lot of things have changed since then and now i'm more strong-minded i'm very independent and i'm so proud to say that that's something which i was not too proud of or would have not been proud of if i was in cameroon because of the fear of sim what man problems but who cares you know now it's more of like an environment multicultural multi exposed people like i'm not even exposed as it stands so guys um like i said it's just a chit chat video it's very late it's 2 a.m now and i'm still vlogging and got my makeup on but it is what it is <laughs> okay guys so feel free to share your own mentality shift from where you were some years ago and where you are now how do you see things what are the differences between when how it was before and how it is now until next time it's your girl please don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell i love you do have a wonderful time mm -hmm.